Hi friends, welcome back to my lockdown diaries. This is Shashwat here. Uh, this is my repositories of thoughts and experiences as we go through these lockdown days. And you know these lockdown days as they extend, they also keep changing all the time. So right now we are in lockdown 4.0. And you are already seeing some sort of you know differences in this new um, this new regime of lockdown that we have. Uh, things are opening up, uh, and you you know different stores are opening up, different you know uh, uh, wine shops are opening up, uh, medical shops are opening up, electronic shops are opening up. The best thing was even the online stores have opened up. So it was it was kind of a you know mixed feeling, mixed back feeling when we had the Amazon was now delivering things beside the essential goods. So yeah, so uh, while it it, it it kind of liberating to have you know uh, see all those products that are now available to you at a click of a button, but now you are also you know it's not the same that it used to be always, right? It's still the packages will be delivered to you outside your building. You'll have to pick them up. You bring them home, and then you're worried about how to you know sterilize those packages. And you know, so those those with all those concerns that we they have, you know. Things are things are changing in this lockdown regime, and we are seeing a lot more crowds. We are seeing a lot more, you know, people out there. My my biggest concern here, uh, you know, as a citizen in, uh, of this country, is uh, I don't see uh, the reason why why these uh, you know liberties uh, should be extended. And hear me out on this one. The essential need when this lockdown was imposed was such that you know because the numbers are increasing we have to take card we have to take precaution we have to sit inside we have to quarantine so that these numbers are controlled but if you look outside right now the numbers are actually exploding uh, so in this sense wouldn't an opening up be counterproductive in in that manner that when you you let people out and you be, people are able to travel commute and you know do things freely would not that lead to an explosion of number, much larger explosion that we have seen? We have just crossed one lakh cases, but God forbid if this thing really catches on. Um, I can understand. I can understand. Like everybody else, we are you know feeling very um, constricted, bored, uh, you know, terribly confined. This this whole thing is almost like a jail term for us. And I can understand that need that you know people have this uh, desire to uh, breathe in the open air, to be able to walk out, but but it, it's not the same anymore, right? Everywhere we go, we have this constant, um, you know, sword hanging over our heads. We are always worried. People are wearing masks. Everything is under that, you know, strict uh, code of uh, guidance that is there. So, so like for instance, today after after almost a month, month and more of uh, you know my water filter that had broken down. If you remember, I had spoken about some time back. My water filter had broken down. And I couldn't find anyone to repair this simply because the whole lockdown days were there. Also, the companies were not responding, so I had to almost resort to you know uh, tweeting my troubles out for them to res respond. So, anyways, we found a mechanic who who came to our place today, and uh, just like any time when he came inside, the, the difference was such that you know he was he was he seemed a bit suspicious about you and you were suspicious about him. So you were kind of you know following him everywhere that he's going, trying to keep a track of what all he has touched so that you can wipe it off clean later on. So you know these kind of things, these th kind of things were which were pretty normal earlier, right? You wouldn't bother about people coming into your home, your mates coming in, um, your cooks coming in, all these guys repairing your ACs or people coming in. But now it's very very different. So I I have my you know very strong doubts on how uh, these all factors would play when we move into this lockdown 4 stage. I, I, there are reports that the, especially the epicenter of all the COVID crisis in India is Mumbai, right? Uh, there are reports coming in of how they are preparing with huge, uh, they have taken over Bombay Exhibition Center, they have taken over the Nehru Planetarium, they are creating, they are creating beds for around 1 lakh cases right now. They have taken over the race course. Which uh, yeah, which is was a huge tract of land in um, uh, southern Mumbai. So while they are making for these arrangements, especially based on the modeling, that you know there will be an explosion, and we have seen that everywhere. So so if that happens, I don't know how we are, how our healthcare system is going to deal with it. Um, the one way we have been dealing, of course, is by going digital. You know, everything, almost everything these days is. Uh, 
digital uh, education is digital your classes webinar your work is digital your grocery shop is di digital you know all these small small mom and pop shops are also going um, digital i'm sure there must be all these uh, uh, companies that are enabling these kind of solutions so everything that you uh, all small shops that were there besides my area have kind of gone digital you can order mangoes digitally you can order vegetables you know order a whole so, uh, lot of stuff so yeah so everything is gone digital and that is the uh, medium ahead for most of the things in fact today is tuesday so uh, t tuesday is uh, the day in, in mumbai it's famous for you know the, the siddhi vinayak temple and even that temple is you know the aartis that are there you you can uh, they are live streaming those aartis in morning and evening and i i can see a lot of facebook like and uh, live uh, broadcast and you know and it's it's kind of uh, uh, interesting not funny it, it's kind of interesting when i see those while those uh, uh, broadcasts are going on people are still saying their prayers they are making their small wishes they are praying to god oh, for this whole epidemic to you know uh, go away and they are making these small prayers which which used to be very personal in nature and you know you would kind of murmur it to yourself those things are being done so it's it's very interesting where you see that collective uh, people coming in and talking about their own things and and your concerns and their concerns are not very different at the moment we all are concerned we all have similar kind of problems we all have similar kind of concerns we all have similar kind of wishes we just want that you know that iota of normalcy to come into our life and one of the best ways for that uh, that uh, the best symbolism of that uh, normalcy is our ability to be able to pray and worship and so you have all these temples that are going on uh, you know the shirdi sai baba uh, is uh, uh, beaming online and you have whole lot of you know forget all these big temples you know the tirumala and all these big temples even the smaller smaller temples are have now understood the power of uh, uh, streaming live and the reason why is very simple right because most of these dip, uh, temples and uh, thing are dependent upon charity and what they have also done is you know while they go online and they are streaming all this um, you know the rituals that are there they are also asking for online donations so if you can if you can make those donations you can do that thing and it's not only temples it's it's you know beyond temples you have a whole lot of you know uh, places of worship the vatican um, uh, the pope recently ha held a mass online which was digitally and it was one of the biggest uh, you know congregation of uh, uh, catholic uh, prayers that was there right uh, i i keep seeing these uh, things about uh, the mecca it's being streamed online right now it's so uh, it's so unusually empty right you never saw that white i never knew the floor beneath was white so you are seeing all these not only uh, temples mosques are uh, exploring the digital medium you have churches you have gurudwaras you have synagogues in uh, you know in uh, tel aviv and jerusalem they are also going online so you you have a whole plethora of thing you know god god is now becoming digital in that sense god is also becoming you know smarter in that sense uh, in fact there is this company uh, i think so it's based in, out of bangalore called as uh, smartpooja.com something like that so it used to earlier i remember it used to offer all these uh, online booking of all these pundits and you know all these uh, kind of services that were there Uh, now they have moved they have included a new business model so what they are doing is now they are holding all these specific pujas for you it will be done over zoom in those special sessions so you can have a satyanarayan ki katha at your home with the pandit ji remotely sitting with his mobile phone and uh, you know talking to you over zoom and uh, reading out the whole scriptures so that's 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 funny and interesting and you know the best part is it this uh, see how we evolve you know that's the beauty of um, the human nature any crisis anything we always tend to find our solutions and our way and which are very unique in nature right we might be caught in the worst uh, thing and we'll still find some ways and we are very jugadu in nature if if i may be allowed to use the word so yeah so that is there my big concern is you know when this whole uh, crisis passes away when this whole uh, pandemic goes away which hopefully i'm again let's pray to god online and offline for it that it does very soon you know whenever it does how will 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 we be able to get back to you know life normal like in fact when you go to temples and you have to stand in those 
queues for one two hours and here right the god is bang in front of you and everything is so you know personal kind of a thing and you can com- uh, you know uh, continue to uh, have discourse with him on a one to one basis like that how how different it would be uh, when the whole thing opens up again i'm sure that is that is going to be there you know so lo- lot of temples i remember even before this lockdown lot of temples had done it i remember when i had visited vishnu devi their all systems were completely digital their tickets and their visit and everything was printed digitally and they had unique numbers you had to go so you know that digital thing has already been in place now we have it has become much more um, inclusive uh, i'm not waiting for a chance where you have something of a vr headset and you know gods would be there on your vr headset and you can then talk to gods and you you can have all those you know uh, mythological stuff going on that would be interesting right So yeah, so so that is that is uh, that is that is one interesting aspect. I just hope, you know, uh, we need to say a prayer to the gods right now. For uh, there's a big crisis that is facing India at the moment, right? Uh, the super cyclone Amphan, uh, which is which is uh, the biggest one that has the second biggest one that has been recorded in the Bay of Bengal right now, and it's it's going to strike tomorrow. That's Wednesday. In the afternoon, make landfall between somewhere between um, West Bengal and um bangladesh now technically uh, you know we have had scenarios in the past where you had these cyclones coming and hitting our uh, eastern coast of orissa andhra pradesh i remember when we used to be kids there used to be so many of these cyclones but nothing of this magnitude it, it's very uh, unusually uh, dis- you know strong and um, terrible the kind of winds and everything seawe category storm that it has become so uh, my ho- our hopes are prayers are with all the people there especially in this time you know the the problem is the timing in these covid times it's it, you know anything of this sort becomes such a big problem you know i'm i'm just thinking what will happen to us when the monsoons come you know when the rains uh, come and you know everything is how will how will we uh, live and interact in these you know in these covid times how will be able to do social distancing how there will be so many uh, pros and cons and so many little little things imagine what 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 the case would be for a super cyclone like this striking and you know thousands and thousands of people being displaced thousands and thousands of you know homes being raised they are saying there will be some 6 uh, 6 meter high waves that will come in you know, so in, in all these in all these scenarios we can only hope and pray that you know the the kind of devastation that has visited us should not be there let's let the gods above at least have mercy right now we are already suffering with too much on our hands right now not to add to that misery in that sense so yeah so let's let's hope you know uh, it's not as bad you, we have seen that in earlier we, i have seen lot of these uh, you know uh, typhoons and tornadoes that keep uh, you know hitting the shores of us uh, the florida and all they, while they develop in a very strong kind of thing but somehow by uh, miracle of nature they kind of peter off as they uh, make landfall so let's hope and pray that that is the same case with uh, amphan uh, which by the way is a thai word which means the sky so uh, let's hope the skies open up on this you know uh, this uh, super cyclone and everything is fit and fine tomorrow uh, on that note on that prayer i'll take your leave today i'll catch you again tomorrow till then stay safe stay inside and don't forget to wash your hands bye bye